Hello and welcome to the finale of Conquering All of India. This will be the last episode of Conquering All of India and if it stands as it does now with the vote, the next Let's Play will be forming Russia, probably with the one that does the achievement. So we pretty much have conquered all of India, now we just have one more nation to attack and then we also have to build up our piety. But while we're building up the piety, I think I'm going to just keep on expanding. But thank you all for the support on the series. It has been insane. It's been a really good series. This is going to be part like 33. So thank you so much. And if you like it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's do this. Okay, these are the last last nation I have to conquer. So let's get our troops over here. We also need to uh, probably uh, give this land away because I don't really want it. Um, is there any people that are weak down here? Oh, you're pretty weak. Yeah, how about you just randomly have territory up here now? You actually aren't that weak, but we're going to give it to you anyways just because I'm a nice guy. Okay, let's go ahead declare war. This guy's absolutely hideous. Um, we all we have to do is seize this territory here. We could just do a holy war for the entire kingdom, but nah, we're gonna be we're gonna be nice. Let's just go for the county that we need. So raise troops. We're gonna absolutely crush this dude. In might as well call the holy uh, army just because you know why not? And it's gonna be simple. This series has been a lot of fun. I really have enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. It seems like you guys did and hopefully the next series will ju be just as good um, And let's just send all our troops in. I don't really care about attrition or anything like that So let's just go in kill some people and we should be uh, all good to go um, I th For some reason I almost said that we were gonna lose there, but definitely not we are way too strong to lose that no. Um, Yama has raised his scarth over my realm. A case of the dreaded bubonic plague. Unlucky, Zahili is one of the victims. Isolate her. Throw her out. Yeah, throw her out. Just, I don't want to deal with that. Hopefully, like, she infects, like, the neighboring countries or something like that. Um, how about all five of you turn around and just murder that guy? 20,000. Hey, the bubonic plague, a new day. The outbreak of the plague has ravaged my court finally is over. Its victims have either recovered or departed from this world. Wow, not a single person got infected besides the first person. That is very, uh, very unique. That almost never happens. Um, we're just gonna absolutely destroy this war. Ooh, and we can do a Vable Dynasty. Select so Canal Tracy become more common in the dynasty. Yes. Um, let's make, uh, you can actually make negative ones. That's actually quite funny. Um, let's do uh, calmly because I don't think we have anything with calmly. So we're gonna have to make calmly more likely to happen. Just because I don't think we have that in our current. I think our next ruler has robust and intelligent. So that's good. And it looks like our kid just has uh, robust. Um, okay, so we murdered them. Send our siege units over there. You're going over there to conquer that. The 20k. Did we stack wipe them? Where? Oh, no, they're right there. I'm blind. Um, and you guys just go murder them, I guess. It looks like we're getting into another fight on accident. Um, I didn't really want to get into a fight there. But, you know, sometimes uh, things happen. Um, while you know a thing or two about military strategies, the... Surrounded of Panda should possess a broad knowledge range of skills my husband like taking and surrounds. I could acquire new tomes, prepare a few assignments, tutor my little. What subjects are you most interested? Uh, let's do realm economy. Yeah, let's let's improve our stewardship a little bit. 18. Dang, our stewardship actually isn't that bad. Martial perk, uh, stole a leader. Prowess is increased, but I'm pretty sure we never go into battle. Our prowess is one. Yeah. Also because we're freaking old we're 70 oh dang our ruler might die but this is pretty much going to be the last episode no matter what so we don't have to worry if anything if my ruler dies i'll just fast forward and do it non-recorded i gotta sneeze oh no yes! um bless me um thank you guys for saying bless you um Okay, so we're gonna have everything. I we I don't know if we're gonna get religious icon before we die. It's going to be uh it's going to be quite close. 
Um, let's send some troops down here. Oops, we actually won the war. Enforce demand. So be it. Disband. Who wants this territory here? Oh, you, you want this territory here? Yeah, have it. Why not? Okay, if we look through our decision, the only thing we need now is religious icon. Hoo hoo. Okay, so can we go on a pilgrimage? No, we have one year to go on a pilgrimage. So we're gonna go on that pilgrimage. While we wait here, let's ransom all these people off. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, let me just ransom all these people. Just give me a second, please. Oh, okay. What is this? It comes to my attention the local commoners are moving to the capital. Yeah, take this gold. I don't care. That's fine. Um, we should absolutely crush anyone that really goes. We actually could do a holy war if we wanted to. Um, but I don't think we are going to do like a big... We could go against Guji. Who's Guji? Um, they're attacking those guys over there, but they're getting attacked by someone. Yes. See, now my vassals are starting to eat up other places, which is a little scary because, like, we're just going to expand, like, the play we are. Um, if we look at the world, let's play the game. The Byzantines are doing really good, as they usually do, but I'm pretty sure I could still crush them. Oh, dude, this Muslim nation informed Hispania already? That's pretty, uh, that's pretty fast. I don't think that's usually, I'm um, united. Also, Italy not exploding is pretty good. I think Italy explode. This England also looks pretty good up here. But this, uh, Italy not exploding is pretty rare. Italy almost always dies. And what's this nation up here? Norwegian Catholic. I've never seen that name before. Very interesting. And that's just, oh, that's just because they're duchy. They're not a king, uh, kingdom or anything. They're pretty big for just a duchy. Notable guest arrived, experienced fighter. Yeah, let's recruit you. Um, my spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus. The man has been spending large amounts of gold bragging loudly about the great deal he stuck with a fancy lady in pearls and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local farmhands for an unknown no noble woman. The spies think the lady might be scheming against me or one of my savage. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, stupid dude. Tiles can be created. Yes, let's do this kingdom. Just so we have almost 20 prestige. Holy cow, we almost get 20 prestige a month. That's a, insane. Pretty much every single person in our lineage is going to be um, a uh, living legend just because of the prestige. Okay, so we can go to war with Guji. Um, we could, su oh, we can subjugate someone. Is there someone that we just wanna subjugate for the lols? Low key, if we uh, if we could, I would definitely subjugate the Byzantines right now. Can we subjugate the? Oh no, we can't. That would be funny to subjugate the Byzantines. I think we can't subjugate anyone with a different religion. So the only one we can really subjugate is uh, Uji. So I think we might do that just because we have so much prestige, and let's just get more land. We to be honest, we could go for an extra, and we could go for Tibet. Um. Because we have five, this one we have seven. Nah, if we went for Tibet, that would just be too much. We definitely could, because at this point, there ain't much stopping us. But let's actually go ahead and try to subjugate. Mm. Is a rebellion going to pop up because of that, though? That's my only fear, is that if we keep on expanding, we'll like make some rebellion happen that we don't want. Okay, let's go on a pilgrimage. Prepare for the journey. Yeah, let's go for the biggest one, long pilgrimage. It's time to depart, because how much piety do we need? We need, ooh, we need a lot of piety. I don't know if we're gonna do that in this age. How is our son looking? He's 38 and he's got 860. Mm. Getting this piety is gonna be hard. We might need to have someone focus on learning. Um, let's do grandson. Um, we actually can't change his stuff, but he needs to focus on learning, to be honest, so we can get that religion up. Um, now, you know what? Screw it. I, I don't want this video to be boring. We're going to subjugate Guji for the heck of it. Um, I think that's one of the only nations we can subjugate at this point, or like it's worth subjugating, because everyone else is like a holy war. Um, yeah, I think this is the only person that is actually worth subjugating at this point. So let's go ahead and subjugate these guys. It's gonna be quite easy. So 
Let's do it. Um, it looks like they have some troops over here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll siege their capital. Um, and siege some other things as well. Okay, let's go ahead. I wake the noise of the chaos in camp, but it only takes me a few minutes to what is happening. We are under attack. Bandits are swarming our tents and wagons while our guards do what they can to us. Where is my sword? No, I'm not going to fight. Um, there can be... Stop this mess. I'll pay whatever you want. Yeah, I'll just pay. I am weak. Um, mostly because if I get wounded at the age of, uh, 71, I think I just insta-die. I have walked the holy path. Hopefully I get mystic. What will mystic give me? Um, ooh. Yes, let's see. At last I have arrived, founded by the god. Ooh. These are hard winter things. I, I have walked the holy path. So hopefully we get mystic. We did not get mystic. Crap. Um, what is this? Has accused my vassal of having an extramarital affair with his lover. How could he defy the synchrony of marriage? Vishnu will judge you. As he usually does. Are you doing that? It's good to be going. My journey has been a long one, but I have finally come home again. Whilst much remains the same, something has changed in how the Pujas and the Swamis treat me. It's good to be home. Yeah, I bet it's good to be home. I feel like pilgrimage still happen in your life but not very for the catholic faith they do i have learned about that in school that there's still pilgrimages uh for the catholic faith they're just not as uh prevalent i i, I would just i don't know how i'd feel about it to be honest to like go somewhere for days or like weeks or months um i don't know maybe it's because i'm not religious in general but i feel like it would be very weird to like go out of my daily routine to do it. Um, my half-sister and vassal. My sister is coming with great news. It is this person, the daughter of another person that died, who is planning to kill my guest. The evil fiend. I don't know. Just feels mean. Okay, so we siege that. So just keep on sieging things down. We need to subjugate this entire country. We will do it. Ooh, we just got a new achievement that I don't have. Prolific. Have 100 living dynasty members. Nice. We have 100 living dynasty members, which is, means we've been spreading the seed quite, quite around. That makes sense why it was rabbits. It really does. Um, so this territory, I think, who are we trying to convert right now? That's pretty much all I've been doing. Oh, we can convert that guy because it's Tamil. Yeah. Get back to this war. We just need to conquer everything. Where is my siege weapons? I think they're right here. Actually, I don't know. Where are you, siege weapons? Um. Am I blind? Oh, they are right there. Okay. I actually thought they weren't there for a second, so I was confused. Now, uh, we pretty much win this war, hands down. We should maybe fight some battles. Apparently we didn't actually win that first battle, which is very odd. Like we didn't get credit for it because like someone else fought it or something weird. Um, my husband died. Well, that sucks. Let's marry someone. Who should we marry? Um, yeah, sure. Let's just marry you. Don't know why. Oh, we captured the king. So we just automatically win. Subjugate the country. Okay, and we inherited a war, but to be honest, that person is not ready. Who are we at war with? This person right here? Yeah, that person uh, done goofed. He's not ready for this pain he's about to have. You know how awful that'd be like, oh, that person only has 4,000 troops, we can beat him in a battle, and then like, you inherit a war where there's like three, 30,000 troops. Yeah, it's 40,000. Um, my vassal has approached me claiming he has discovered who is behind the murder of my acquaintance. He has offered to provide me with everything he knows, including names and evidence in exchange of gold. Yeah, give him gold. What, what's up? Um, who murdered? This vassal murdered? Or this vassal? Uh, you learned that this guy murdered. Oh, man. Yo, what's up, dude? Let's blackmail you. Yeah, blackmail. Oh, I'll, um, actually, let's, can we call for a hunt and lose the stress before we gain it? Um, we blackmailed this dude. Nice. 
demand conversion use hook will accept uh, is a strong hook too so we're gonna convert him over let's be Vishnu yes and that's actually a good place what is oh you're at war with that person right there okay good job on converting people um, just as my vassal and I crest will hear it, the snapping twigs, the rustle of branches, birds screaming in fright there, heralds announce the arrival of Massive Heart heading straight for us. Uh, yeah, he can get a weak hook on me because there's a 31% chance I'll die, and I really don't want to die at this point. If we can get Religious Icon, um, the existence of a murder scheme, scheme is exposed. Why do everyone want to kill my guests and prisoners? Why does no one want to murder me? The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the farmlands behind as the servants prepare the heart and other game for the journey back. Everything that could go wrong seemed to do so, but there were similar lines to be found. We return home in disappointment. Yeah, the only disappointment really is that the guy saved my life. I guess that's disappointment. Oh, let's just ransom these people. There's no way that someone else is trying to get... My spasm master has come to me to great news. It's... This person, a noble one from Golank is, is plotting to kill my prisoner. The brooding fiend. Uh, why, why can't she just die? I don't care about my prisoners getting murdered. I have 76 dread. Okay. Uh, Shameful has reached the light of day. My vassal and her lover. How could this just defy the secondary marriage? Vishnu will judge them. And now everyone knows about it. Nice. Okay, will we get religious icon? I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a close one. Where is my siege weapons? Oh my goodness. There they are. Just go on there, siege weapons, and kill him. He cannot be fired. Well, are you a good marshal? At least you're ten. I can't fire you for twenty five years, and you're kidding me. You're ten marshal. Well, that sucks. Um. I write to inform you a most appalling discovery I made about my spy master. The man is engaging in unsavory, dishonorable acts behind you. I seriously hope that brings us to send some information to you will prove my unwearing lore towards you. Who's this? Hmm. I will never forget your jester. Oh, he got a weak hook on me? Nah, screw you. I, I don't want him to have a weak hook on me. Um, you learned that... What's... Player hair? What? Wait, wait, wait. Child's heritage? This character is a bastard? My son is a bastard. That's not good. That is bad. He's about to take over our country. Oh. Well, hopefully uh, no one finds out. Hope he won that war and forced demands. So be it. Now we have even more land. We could keep expanding if we really wanted to, but really there's no point. We just need to uh, get that prestige up. So I guess for the first time in pretty much this entire series, I think I'm going to do some editing and just wait till we get to the certain point. I think that makes a lot more sense. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when we can uh, form the decision or my leader dies. It's probably gonna be one of uh, one of those. Probably one of those. Actually, let's do this. Determine um, what will this do. Devote to Ganga. Medium health boost. That's actually pretty pog because I'm gonna can live longer. Taxes. Okay. Devote to Jungler. Marshall. Okay, that's fine. Um, ooh, monthly piety twenty percent. Yes, let's do that. Let's get that money monthly piety up twenty percent. How can we gain more piety? Do we do we get piety for winning holy wars? Possibly. Hold Mr. Wilkin. You are truly the ones who truly knows. Um, you gain 300 learning speeds. The divide guidance. There may be unforeseen side effects. Ooh. No, I don't think that's worth it because I don't get anything. Revoke Holy Order. No, we'll just lose opinion. Invite claimants. No, actually none of this will increase my piety. Okay. Okay, so I'll see you guys either when we have enough piety or my ruler dies. Hopefully it is uh, the, the latter of the two. Hopefully, um, we not the latter of the two, Ooh, the first thing. Hopefully we have enough piety. 
Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and declare this big holy war. It's actually a decent army against us. It's something to do. Okay, I think we should be able to handle this, but you know, let's do some fun wars before we're over. So this is gonna be a big massive war that we're in. Should be quite fun. Uh, we're gonna take a lot of territory if we win. But to be honest, this is actually one of the more difficult wars we've been in. But you know, sometimes when you're pretty much winning the entire game, you need to spice it up a little bit. So that's what we're uh, doing right now. We're uh, spicing it up a little bit. Uh, is it a bad idea? Potentially. But you know, you gotta do, you gotta, gotta live life sometime. Where is my siege equipment? Send the siege equipment over there. Let's send a whole bunch of troops over there with the siege equipment as well. Just because I don't want to get caught out or anything. We're at war with pretty much half of our neighboring nations. So let's send like a big chunk of troops over there. We just got to be careful. We don't want to get anything caught out because this is a not an easy war, but this is a war we could actually lose if we're dumb enough. And trust me, guys, I'm dumb enough to lose this war. So I'm just going to try to play safe. I'm not trying to lose it or anything. Um, we're going to send a whole bunch of my troops up here just to kind of be in the area. We'll send, we'll send one more of this guy up here. We just got to make sure we uh, don't do anything stupid and lose all our troops to a bad battle. Because it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a, a chance um, that that could happen. Because these guys are not like pushovers like most of the nations we have been fighting. These guys are actually quite big boys. Um, what is this right here? Um, someone's going for the claim on that kingdom. Interesting. Hope you guys fight it out. Well, I just try to take this huge kingdom. I think we have a good chance of winning, but I am not sure for certain. Um, let's, I think we'll pretty much have this area unlocked. So let's move um, some troops down here. This is going to be, I actually, this might be one of those wars where the territory is just too big so they don't ever actually fight against us. Also, just look at these troops, uh, these knights. Some of these knights are just insane. 29 and 27. Those are just some good old Indian knights. Um, we can ransom people, but we're not going to do that. Um, we'll leave you guys, you guys actually hop on with them. Um, you guys hop down to protect. It, like, this war should be easy, but there's still a chance that they can pull out some of this lead. Like, one of our massive troops could get caught out. So we always just have to be careful. Um, never a peasant's lot. Rally of troops. This is going to be annoying. Um, I don't really want to send the elephants, but we'll, we, we will send the elephants to deal with them. Okay, here we go. We actually have some troops uh, coming up here. So... This is what I'm talking about, where, like, they can get troops all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, they have a decent amount of troops up here. Okay. So we just have to be careful. We don't want to lose any battles that we don't want to. Um, of course, the guy that I'm swinging dies. This makes sense. Um, you guys keep sieging things. We just have to be very uh, safe. We don't want to take any battles that are risky per se. And what we also have to be careful is a lot of my men at arms is like all over the place. So we do have to be very concerned about that. A lot of my men at arms are not in one troop. And I just have been going on about how this war is really risky. And we just won the war already. So enforce demands. Enforce, so be it. Uh, we do get a whole bunch of prestige and stuff. We also got a whole bunch of land. Ooh, we're just, we just keep on expanding. Oh man, it's nasty. It's pretty nasty, actually. Um, so now that we have some territory up here that we really don't want. Hey, that guy's actually the right religion. Oh, that guy's the right religion too. Dang, you're the right religion. How about we give you this territory up here? Yeah, we'll just make you a monster. That's fine. I'm not caring. Um, yeah, and so we could probably upstate a title or two or create a kingdom or two from that. No. Um, Passion Grand 
emirate, which is a kingdom. That's this one right here. Who can we take that away from? We pretty much have it already. Um, they're, they're sieging very slowly. 0.6 a day. My elephants will get down there to help. Oh, we still have our entire army up, which is fine. So we're a living legend again, but we don't have religious icon yet. And I don't know if we're going to, because we're, we're old as dirt. Um, we are very old. We are very healthy too, but all it takes is just one bad tick and we just die right at the finish line. Okay. Well, that war's over, so I'm going to go back to just uh, trying to get um, piety and stuff without dying. So, see you guys in a little bit, and hopefully uh, we can do it with this character. Otherwise, I'm going to have to play a lot before I can do it. Okay, we have some bad news. Our ruler died before we got enough uh, piety, so we're going to have to go with our next ruler to try to get enough piety. So, let's see if we can uh, go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and do the Intrigue focus. Intrigue is great, but really not for what we are trying to get right now. Um, we're going to go for Torture, just because that's what we're already going through. Let's get all our people assigned. Um, and go from there, and hopefully we can uh, get some stuff done. Um, dangerous Faction. Yeah, there's all these Dangerous Factions. What Dread do I have? Zero. Let's fix that by executing some people. Um, 18 dread, 18 dread, 18 dread. Just keep on executing everyone until we're at 100 dread. Okay, we're at 100 dread. Go on a pilgrimage. Yes, go on a pilgrimage. Do the most expensive one. Uh, we need to get rid of two of our territories. Um, go ahead, send child to university. Can I actually do that? Children, Larks, Guardians. Yes. Uh, no one will be his guardian? Um, why? Um, also, switch your thing to learning. I don't... With learning education, I don't really care. You have to do learning. Um, what are you doing? Intrigue? I'll help you with intrigue. I don't know. Why is no one- why can no one help my kids? Is that how hid I am in my own kingdom? Um, let's give away two pieces of territory that we don't want anymore. Which, there's plenty. Let's give it away with for something up here. Yeah, let's give you some titles. Do we have another one up here? Yeah, you can have that random one there. Okay. Liberty faction. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, independence faction is the more uh, upsetting one. Along with my fellow pairdom, they are not all bad. Um, what does this do? This gives taxes and this does levies. Let's do taxes. Um, let's like... Can we imprison this guy? Um, let's go ahead and imprison that guy. Good. Um, none of the independence faction, or whatever faction that was, can't do anything. Um, you're actually someone that should like me. We should sway this guy to get our money up. Um, can we imprison you? Yes, imprison you. I walk the holy path. Hopefully I get wise man. Good. We in prisoner. Now, Liberty Faction. Liberty Faction started. Huh. Well, don't know why that is. Looks like we're going to have to deal with a Liberty Faction now. Which is, uh, which is fun. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so let's go ahead and take out... Who's the most powerful person in the Liberty Faction? You. So we're gonna take out you, unfortunately. So let's raise army, and it's also my vassal. So we're gonna take out my vassal first. Um, let's go ahead and do that. 
It's good to be home. Yeah, so it's good to be home. Did I get wise man? I did get wise man. So I'm getting 4.6 piety. Okay, guys, I'm also... Uh, actually, let's play out this uh, um, Liberty War, and then I'll probably cut away again. So you guys don't have to watch everything. Um, yeah, well, everyone's going to go towards my capital, probably. So that's no shocker there. Um, I can't call a holy order. Oh, no, I can. I can call my holy, holy order. Um, do we have a... Yes. Do we want to try to kill them at my... Actually, that's actually maybe a way better idea. We'll have my sieging troops do that. Actually, we'll... Um, my daughter... Yeah, she can be an arrogant. I don't really care. With this 20k... Let's... Ooh, they might get enough uh, to stop me there. Let's actually send 20k down there now and see if we can uh, stop them. Let's go for them right there. Okay, let's slow down the speed a little bit. Um, we are down some money too. Um, let's see if we can catch up to... No. You do have the disembarkment penalty. Would we lose a battle here? It says we would, but I don't know if that's true. That's because we're really poor now. Um, defending a river crossing. They, they're running, so I don't know if we would lose or not. I think just threatening them down here is good, and then we can start sieging things down. I think it's the big river crossing that was going to be the, dane, the bane of our existence. We kind of just, we kind of just need a good war, um, to beat them. Um, there's not too many people in this faction all over the place. There's some people over here, but I think they shipped down. How many troops do they have? 24? Oh, so it's kind of an even, uh, war, actually. Oh, we actually might catch some troops out there. So we did, and we'll win that battle, which is good. Um, let's ransom these people, just so we can get some- Ooh, these are my vassals. Oh wait, I didn't want to ransom those. Those are the people I just imprisoned. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. Um, we are gonna win this battle here, which is good. Um, I think they're going to suicide right here. I don't know why. They could have joined earlier, but now they're joining after the battle's already done. Not much logic there, but you know, I'm not gonna argue with them. So we just pretty much wiped out those armies and I actually made at least one person leave. Um, which is good. That's the thing that I think people forget a lot about Liberty Wars, is that people will leave. Um, and when they leave, it's much easier to win. I think they might go to try to defend the capital. I think I already have it sieged by the time they get there. No, they actually might go towards my capital. But we'll win the battle against them. Maybe they'll leave the war. Nope. Um, it looks like they are gonna try to go for my capital again, so we'll just kill them. Um, my nephew can be married. I think it already happened. Um, I have noticed your interest in the arts of subterfuge, my lord. I might be able to help you earn even more. Uh, lead, lead the way. Yeah, lead the way, my lady. Okay, so we'll go attack them there. We did go ahead. I think we're just gonna siege with this guy over here and have this big old stack just keep on murdering people um now married i some reason no one can be my son's guardian i think that's actually glitched because i should be able to be my son's guardian i actually don't know why that is happening i've never seen something like that happen i'm a little confused it looks like we got one person into a battle oh where why are you running where are you going I don't think you should run. No, yeah, I don't think it was a good idea. Well, you just joined in for no reason. 
Um, send the troops up here to kill them. These guys can keep sieging away. Uh, it's actually looking really bad for the Liberty. It's 6,000 to 27,000 right now. I am in massive debt, but that actually doesn't do too much in CK3. It's actually quite, quite inefficient. Um, yeah, go deal with them up there. We'll just continue sieging and killing a whole bunch of people in battles. And just doing the good stuff. Um, my daughter will be honest. Nice. I really wish I could be my ward for my, uh, son. But, you know, can't do that. Don't know why. Okay. So, we're getting closer and closer to winning. A couple more battles and a couple more sieges. We should be there. Chancellor died. My steward. Um, we're just gonna make you my chancellor. Oh, where are you going? Where do you think you're going, my dude? Are there any more factions gonna happen? This is a liberty faction. I accidentally sprung it. I didn't mean to spring it. I was trying to prevent it and just went ahead and started it. Um, removes. Let's actually go here so we can try to get kidnapping. Yeah. Enable, fabricate. So, go ahead. We should be real close to winning. Yeah. We probably just need, like, one siege more, and it will be good. Yeah. So, as long as they don't capture anything here, I think we're pretty much, uh, GG's. Um, yeah. If we, if they don't capture anything, that capture should put us over for the win. And it will be an easy Liberty War off-handled. Um, we do need to get that good old sweet religion up again. Um, let's go ahead and determine this guy. I think this one's the one that goes monthly piety up. Yes, so we're getting 5.7 piety a month. Enforce demand, so be it. Disband. Um, absolutely massacred them. Okay, so now I'm going to, okay, we cannot help my son because of the civil war or whatever. I'll be the ward for my son. Um, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pause it again because I'm not going to really do any wars. I'm just going to try to get my piety up. So see you guys in a little bit and hopefully we can get it with this character. And if we don't, I might have to do it off a of video or we'll just say it's one because I'll eventually get the decision. It's just a matter of time. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I figured out it's going to take me a lot longer than I thought to do this. I have already played a good uh, 20 minutes uh, not recording. So I think we're going to end it here and we're going to say this is still the finale and we have won. It's just going to take a couple of rulers. So I'll probably do a screenshot or something on the community post of forming uh, it. Just become the tri uh Become this. Uh, it's just going to take way too long and I'll do a screenshot of doing this. And that's just because religious icon is just gonna take a while because this guy is not learning so i'm probably gonna have to wait till my next ruler who will be learning so thank you guys for watching i am so happy with how this series turned out i hope you like it subscribe for the next series and for other ck3 content and this is what the world looks like with pretty messy world but with a huge india so thank you for watching again see you later bye have a good one